Welcome to Lynn Educational Television. I'm Afton Dean, bringing you the crosstown rival matchup, Lynn English and Lynn Classical. Ariana Stelgado and Shayla Manon at center court for the tip. And we'll get to the starting five in a second for both teams. English wins the tip and we're underway. However, we're gonna get a double dribble and one possession, one turnover for Lynn English. Classical coming in with a 9-1 record. Their starting lineup consists of Jasmine Macy, Jaylee Madrano, Ariana Stelgado, Jean Gupton, and Tiara Horton. For English, it's Juliana Perry, Raven Radley, Shayla Manon, Ellie Greedy, and Jessica Reeves. So both teams go 0 for 1 on their first possession of the game. <laughs> Shayla Manon gets right into the classical defense. Harris Wilkie not out there for classical tonight. Still battling a lower back injury. Tiara Horton. We're going to call that a long two. Buckton with the steal. Madrano gets tripped up. And ball is going to go against Weedy. First team foul for either side. And Tiara Horton will take the ball side out. So anytime these teams meet, it's always I'm sure to be a good one. Jalen Madrano. Haskell showing some pressure in the backcourt. English passes their way out of it very nicely. Ariana Delgado right there. And good defense by Delgado. Defends straight up. Madrano getting harassed in the backcourt. And Greedy gonna go to the bench probably now with those two fouls. So she picks up a quick two, and Kamani Dorsey will have to check into this game with just a minute 30 in as Greedy picks up those two fouls, both on Madrano. Madrano around the screen. Madrano doing a nice job early on attacking the rim. Madrano looking, finally finds Horton in the corner. Nice up fake by Horton, gets a wide open look. Ariana Stelgado fighting on the offensive glass, but she's going to get called for a traveling violation. Nice steal by Macy. Good anticipation. And she's going to get fouled. Macy knew that pass was coming. She took a gamble. And 
and another one of the English's starting five, Reven Reapley, picks up her second foul. Ariana Stelgato, her shot's long from the corner. Kicked out of bounds and deflected off Horton. It will stay Lynn English ball. Delgado finally comes away with it. In and out. Horton showing and she's not afraid to shoot it early on. And somebody gonna have to fill the void without Paris Wilkie in the lineup. Possible leading scorer this season. Shot clock at seven. English gonna have to make a move. And even if that went down, it wouldn't count. Shot clock expires. And another turnover for Lynn English. Good defense by Classical. Really force an English to stay on the perimeter early on. Macy goes baseline. Rainbow shot. And when I say rainbow, I thought that thing was gonna hit the ceiling. Approaching the halfway point of this first quarter. Very balanced scoring attack for Classical. As three of their starters have scored. Macy, Medrano, and Horton. Medrano gets the ball over half court and I think she was trying to get the pass to Ariana Stelgado. Another nice play by Macy, really doing a good job getting in the passing lane in this first quarter. And we're gonna get a jump ball. Jazz and Macy everywhere on defense right now. Looking for the whistle. Corner shot short. Medrano's going to reset the offense. Gets the screen from Horton. Delgado very active underneath and is going to get classical another possession here. Ellie Giddy coming in with those two fouls. Gupton will check back into the game. Tiara Horton had a good start to the game, very active on both sides of the ball. Oh, 
Delgado's pass was shot blocked. Gupton, gonna go to the line. Classical, very fortunate to get some points out of this possession. English with six fouls. The latest courtesy of Jessica Reeves. Free throws won't hurt there. Stepton goes 0 for 2 at the line. the other way. Macy was running the floor. She missed the layup. Fortunately gets it back for Classical. Hebrew finds Delgado along the baseline. And Tommy Hill going to get into this game. And Skyler Creighton also going to check into this game. So Chloe Kibru out. Shayla Manon out. A very low scoring first quarter. Both teams have had opportunities to score. And Coach Sawyer going to call a timeout. Not happy with his team right now. And we're approaching the one minute mark here in this first quarter. Six to two, classical on top. English with those six team fouls. Tiara Horton, Jasmine Macy, Jaylee Medrano, all with two points. And Shayla Manon, the only Score on the English side thus far. And we'll see what classical draws up out of the timeout. Much anticipated game for both teams. And always a good one when these two meet up. Tommy Hill in the corner fumbles the pass. And the ball going to come back. Classical's way. 120 left in the quarter. And Creighton going to be called for the travel along the baseline. So in exchange of turnovers. All the way to the basket, everything but the basket for Gidi. Macy back out to Medrano. Good ball move by Classical on this possession. Finally find the open man along the baseline. 
Delgado couldn't bank at home. <laughs> Credit Delgado. Hanging tough on the offensive glass. Classical will keep the pressure on. And we'll get some contact before the shot. There's Kamani Dorsey looking to make her move. Shot off the mark. Costco has time. And desperation shot from half court is no good. And a low scoring first quarter, but Classical will lead it six to two as we head into the second quarter of action. And we are set for the second quarter. Classical on top, six to two. And a very low scoring first quarter. English scored just one basket and it came early in that first quarter. Ducked in with a loud block. Madrano with the pull up jumper and the break. Madrano, your game's leading scorer with four. Madrano with the steal. Madrano calling for it. They finally get it to her. And we got a jump ball. Again, classical active on the glass. And get themselves an extra possession. They inbound it right to Horton underneath the basket. She goes right up with it, gets fouled, and she'll have two at the line. Classical doing so well this season, finding the open man off inbound passes. And you can't draw it up any better than that. Horton will look to extend this classical lead. Yeah. Horton with the friendly bounce, a perfect two of two. Good defense by Delgado. Runs Hill off the shot. Macy couldn't handle the pass. And Macy also going to pick up the foul. Passing out of that press. An offensive foul. Foul charge to Juliana Perry. Covers Delgado nicely. Yeah. Ellie Giddy will go to the line as she got hit on the arm. Yeah. 
English has to be careful here with those 18 fouls. Could mean a lot of free throws for Classical. First points of the game for Reedy. Much needed points for English. Haven't scored since early in the first quarter. Reedy with the steal. All the way to the basket. And now Reedy on a 4 0 run of her own to get this back within four at 10 to 6. The English bench starting to make some noise. Horton comes up empty. Good find by Greedy. Pass through the hands of Shayla Manon. Greedy can't run the break any better than that. English staying with that zone defense. Swing it to Macy in the corner. Back out to Medrano. Macy. Pass is kicked off. I don't know who she was looking for under the basket, but that will get a timeout. Out of Classical with 5.20 left to go here in the second quarter. Both teams have scored four points apiece so far here in the second quarter. English still finds themselves down four at 10 to six. Really Giddy leading English with four points. Tiara Horton with four, Jaylee Medrano with four. Jasmine Macy with a basket and Shayla Mannon with a basket so far in this first half. So not a lot of scoring. If you like offense, this is probably won't be a favorite game to watch. So Delgado, Hebrew, Gupton, Horton, and Medrano will be out there after the timeout. Kick ball. Captain made a move, nice move to the basket. Couldn't hit the shot. Long rebound for Hill. Medrano shot long from the corner. Dupton looking for putback. Classical getting opportunities here. Delgado. Air mills it behind the arc. Costco settles from outside on that possession. And Medrano gets her on the way by. Medrano. 
Medrano picks up her second personal. 15 foul. Hebrew loses it, had it momentarily. Four points for the eight English points tonight so far. Tiara Horton all by herself. Can't hit. No help de defense on the weak side there. Horton left wide open. Uh, Horton out of bounds. We'll stay English ball. 3 11 left here in the first half. Weedy will inbound. Macy with the steal. One man to beat. She does. Macy with some aggressive defense here in the first half. Four fast break points for her. Both off steals. Logato with a good look. And her shot is short. Uncharacteristic of Delgado to miss by that much behind the arc. Good players will continue to shoot it. I'm sure she will. Man, and wild shot. She gets called for the offensive foul. Actually, traveling violation. Add another turnover to English's scoring line. Gets open underneath. These are Ariana Delgado's first points of the night. And she's been a key contributor in the absence of Paris Wilkie over the last three games. Jessica Reeves with the putback. Deflects it out of bounds. Scratch that, Shayla Manon. Deflects that ball out of bounds. Tommy Hill will check back in. Je Jessica Reeves will go to the bench. a foul before the shot. It would have counted. All right, Chandler wanted that one. And this should be a good second half. Ellie Greedy with a long two. Her foot was on the line. And jump ball. Gupton, Gupton untouched. Classical answers. 
And the English coaching staff not pleased with their defense. So Classical will have a chance to get the last shot as the shot clock is off. Medrano will dribble this out. Or actually, Macy will. And they go inside the battle. So I think everyone in the building thought that Classical would set up for the final shot. They don't. After a very rough first half, English will end it on a high note and they'll go into the locker room down. And we will begin the second half of action here at the Link Classical Gymnasium. Classical on top, 18 to 14. And a correction, Tommy Hill's shot at the buzzer was a two, not a three. So instead of 18 to 15, it's going to be 18 14. Classical on top. It looks like her foot was behind the arc. And I had a chance to speak with a few people at the scores table at halftime, and they agreed, but the call will go as a two. And we'll see if that point is meaningful down the stretch in this game. The Bulldogs are wild with the first shot. Good find by Macy. Delgado with now six points on the night. Macy with another steal. Macy had a great first half defensively with two steals. And both steals led to fast break points. Ariana Delgado was active on the glass with seven rebounds in that first half. And Medrano with the floater. I don't know how that one went in and what it did. And now Medrano with six points of her own. Good start for Classical. Shot no good from the corner. Gupton there once again. Another rebound. Gene Gupton, who's been inserted into this starting lineup with the injured Wilkie. Coach Sawyer really looking for her to stay active on the glass. Medrano will set the offense. Good post move by Delgado. Backs her way down. And Classical in the midst of a 7-0 run, or 6-0 run, to begin this quarter. English will call the timeout. Classical have now a 10 point lead. And this is 
their largest lead of the night. Classical needs just one win to qualify for the state tournament. <clears throat> just one loss on the season. They won nine of 10 to begin the year. Tonight would be the magic number, number 10. And then they could start thinking about home court advantage. <clears throat> and Classical really emerging as one of the top teams. And we knew coming in the expectations were high for this team. Six seniors. It was just a matter of how everything was going to come together this season. Of course, a big variable is the health of Paris Wilkie. <laughs> and hopefully, she can get healthy for classical down the stretch. Macy with a nice dribble. Somehow Madrano comes away with that. Delgado doesn't get the call. Good move along the baseline. Shot doesn't go down. And that's the type of night English has been having. Lacey hands it off to Madrano. Horton left open in the corner. Shot won't go. English getting careless with the basketball. Madrano misses the layup. Madrano didn't have anyone within a couple feet of her. She was all alone and she's frustrated with herself. <laughs> and Ariana Delgado for three. Madrano can just say she missed that one on purpose to get Delgado a three on that possession. <clears throat> Pass through the hands of Juliana Perry. Dorsey out aggressively on Madrano. Good defense. Lacey would have had a good look at the basket. Delgado going to have to shoot it. And we got a shot clock violation as that didn't catch any iron. Delgado went for the steal. Reeves with now four points. Fast moving third quarter. As we approach the two minute mark. Horton. Doesn't get a whistle. Off. Goes coast to coast. 
And Coach Sawyer is going to get a quick timeout. And nice play by Gupton. <laughs> and Costco has opened up a 13 point lead, 29 16. And whatever Coach Sawyer said to his team in the locker room has worked so far. English still searching for themselves offensively. Something happened on that previous possession that Coach Sawyer was mad about or disappointed. Horton will go to the bench and Chloe Kebrew will check into the game. Upton again gets into the passing lane. Out the basket and Gupton will look for a three-point play. Gene Gupton, two straight possessions with the steal in the basket this time draws the contact. And Gupton having a great third quarter. Seven points. <laughs> Madrano with the active hands. Madrano gonna get called for the foul though. Looked like she had an all ball. Mariah Chandler in, Madrano will take a quick breather. Costco's outscored English 14 to two in this quarter. And it has not been pretty in this half for English. Lacey can't bank at home. Juliana Perry almost collides with Coach Sawyer on the sidelines. She loses it out of bounds, and it will be classical ball, 121. We'll have to play here in the third quarter. Macy, Gupton, Horton, Hebrew, and Chandler all out there for classical. Tommy Hill has made her way to the scoring scorer's table. And Gupton battling underneath. And some well earned free throws for Gupton. Tommy Hill is now joined by Jessica Reeves. Gupton makes the first. Up to making the most of our minutes tonight. Gupton perfect from the line. Surrounded by three maroon jerseys. 
I'm gonna get a jump ball. Classical possession. English should get the ball back, barring an offensive rebound. And Mariah Chandler gonna get called for the moving screen. And a tough call there. It looked like a good screen. And a lot of people are shaking their heads at that call. And Coach Sawyer up on these officials, and rightfully so. Coach Sawyer calling for his team to get the last shot. Shot clock off. Glasgow going to have to get it over half court. They do. And Jean Justin. How big has she been in this quarter? Shot nearly goes down for Dorsey. But classical will outscore English 18 to two in the quarter, and they now lead at 36-16 as we head into the final quarter. A big third quarter for Link Classical as they finish the quarter on an 18 to two run and have opened this thing up. Leading it by 20, 36, 16. And Classical is well on their way to winning their 10th game of the season. <laughs> we got another traveling call. How big was Gene Gupton in that third quarter? You have to imagine Coach Sawyer is happy with her production tonight. <laughs> Chandler made a nice move. And who? But Jean Gupton, there for the putback. She gets hacked on the arm. And she looked to add to her scoring line. Upton misses the first. <clears throat> Upton misses both. Horton bails her out with the offensive rebound. Adriano will pull it back and reset the offense. Chandler kicks it out. A lot of dribbling. Classically going to have to shoot it. Shot clock at six. Mordrano shot no good. Ariana Delgado on the glass. And foul is going to go against Lynn English. Tommy Hill. Glasgow well, doing a much better job in this half, attacking the rim and not settling for those outside shots. Wait, that's all right, hey, right. They got the last one. Fresh clock for classical. And how big is Madrano orchestrating this offense? Madrano's runner, no good. Another jump ball. This time we'll go English's way. 
Ellie Guidi checks back into the game. Lasko featuring that 2-3 zone. Pass tipped to Horton. English having all kinds of trouble taking care of the basketball. Madrano cutting to the basket. Shot doesn't go, but she will go to the line. Madrano did a nice job moving without the basketball. And Madrano will look to extend the classical lead. Rattles home the first. Madrano makes one of two. She has seven points on the night. Traveling violation on Weedy. Costco has really turned it on defensively in this half. Jean gupped into the bench. She played a great stretch of basketball in this half. Chloe Kibu. No one around her. Her first basket of the night. 39-16. Reverse lay-in, no good. Horton wisely gets it to Madrano. Oscar gonna take their time. Or not. Horton long with the three. And English will get the ball back. Five minutes to play. Dorsey has to shoot it. And that high arcing shot goes down. Dorsey's first basket of the night. Looks like Hebrew got hit on the arm. No call. Coach Sawyer not thrilled with these officials. Man. I don't blame him one bit. Weedy, front rims the jumper. English trying to call for the timeout, preserve the possession, but instead we have a jump ball. And we reach the halfway mark of the quarter. So barring a miraculous comeback, class is going to clinch their spot in the state tournament. And this has to be one of the earliest clinches in the Coach Sawyer error, I would imagine. Morton goes with the scoop shot. We got a foul going against Chloe Hebrew. Hebrew's first personal, fourth team foul. Creighton for Delgado. Number 
And this looked like it was going to be a close game, especially heading into the locker room. It was 18 to 14. 32, Mariah. 32. Costco has really made some adjustments in the second half. Creighton comes out of a crowd. Dorado can't spin it home. One on two. Weedy will go to the line. the first one of two he has seven points Macy going to control the point with Madrano on the bench. Creighton with the weak side rebound. shot blocked. Danny Jordan will check in for classical. Jasmine Macy, the lone starter out there for classical. We'll get a timeout from Sawyer. <laughs> 23 point lead for the Rams, and this has to feel extra sweet against Crosstown rival Lynn English. Sure, this will be one that the Bulldogs will like to forget about. And the nice thing, both teams will be back in action on Friday night. And shot clock expires. Classicals can't get a shot off. Thank you for tuning in to Lynn Educational Television. Dorsey from the corner. Channel 15, Comcast, Channel 36, Verizon, bringing you all of 
your action from your limb teams. Dorsey will try again. And she's failing it. Dorsey left wide open in the corner. Come on, Dorsey. She has nine points. And a big part of why Classical is able to run away with this in that third quarter is Jean Gupton. I'll mention her one more time. And a tremendous showing in that third quarter. Nice job coming to the ball. She loses it. They go cross court to Dorsey. She's failing it. And a little heat check. And a minute to play in this game. You would imagine Classical would take the time here. And traveling violation as Macy looked to make her move. We're going to have a PA announcer in the house tonight, Rob Smith, coach of the junior varsity team. Dorsey having a great night. Classical can't just dribble it out. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. But now they can. Foul on English. Actually, English is over the limit. So English will get the ball back. 17 foul. Foul goes against Kimani Dorsey. Macy misses the first of a one and one. And the passing lane, guys. Macy over half court. Chloe Kibru, and the buzzer will sound. So Klaska with a very convincing win tonight, 45-28, and they have clinched a state tournament berth. 10 out of their first 11 games have resulted in a win. So 10 out of 11 to start the season. So not a ton of offense in that first quarter. Klaska led it just six to two. Both teams turned it on in that second quarter, and Classical led 18-16 heading into the break. It was a huge third quarter for Classical. They outscored English 18-2. Ariana Stilgato will finish with 11 points. Jean Gupton finishes with 11 points. Both are your leading scorers for Classical. Jaylene Madrano with seven points. Chloe Kebrew and Jasmine Macy with four points apiece. Tiana Hort. Tiara Horton, you can't forget about her, with six points. And Skylar Creighton had a basket. On the English side, 
It was Kamani Dorsey, 11 points, including three three-pointers. Ellie Guidi with seven points. Jessica Reeves and Shayla Manning with four. And Tommy Hill added a basket, which came at the end of the second quarter. Classical improved to 10 and one. They take this one final score, 45 to 28. And again, Classical will get to work on home court advantage as they enter the second half of the season. So 45-28, we hope you enjoyed this one. I'm Afton Dean, and we'll see you next time on Lynn Educational Television.